I spent 10 years without a smartphone. I'm gonna tell you my experience and what I learned. The first smartphone was invented according to Google in 1992 and it was first released on the market in 94. I don't remember any smartphones being around back then so either Google's wrong in this instance or that was one weird looking smartphone. I don't know. By 2009, midway through my college career, all of my friends had smartphones. In fact, we were all design students. Most of them had iPhones. The latest model, I was a little jealous sometime. About 2011, I was working full time, had the money, could have bought myself a smartphone, didn't do it. And then I didn't have a smartphone throughout all of my 20s until about midway through the pandemic, finally decided I'm gonna take the plunge, buy an iPhone, and I bought this old used iPhone during that 10 year period where I could have had a smartphone and chose not to. I learned some pretty amazing things about screen time, myself, and I think about life in general. Why? Why did you not just get a smartphone? I don't know. Here are the negative experiences. What went wrong with not having a smartphone? Number one, I am directionally challenged and it is so hard to find your way without a smartphone GPS. I was driving home from school one year. I turned a five hour trip into a 10 hour trip. Here's the crazy thing was, <laughs> I got lost for a whole hour in an airport that I was not supposed to be within like an hour of during this drive. Like that's how bad at directions I am. It didn't help when I got married. Me and my wife were both just as bad. We turned a four hour drive into an eight hour drive. We've done that more than once. So here we go. Number two, you become the butt of a lot of jokes. They see this old weird looking thing and they go, what on earth? Once people find out you've made this decision on purpose, they try to make fun of you about it as much as they can. And I just had to kind of learn to laugh at myself. Here's one more negative experience. You can't look anything up when you want to. So if you're out in the woods and it's like, hey, is this a poisonous snake or is it not? You can't look it up and people are like just google it and you're like uh i don't have google on this thing i took out my phone and texted other people during those 10 years and said can you please google this for me that's enough of the negative let's jump over to the positive experiences here's number one a way that i was able to enjoy life better without having one of these number one is less screen time i work a job where i'm staring at the computer most of the time having one of these that didn't tempt me to like stay on the screen longer. It was basically a break from work, a break from getting those red veins in my eyes. Most of the time people aren't calling. They're just gonna send you like 15 emails. Not having a smartphone allowed me to look at life through the lens of, in a sense, a child again, whose time is not being demanded 24 seven. Here's another benefit to not owning a smartphone. These things are indestructible. I used to play this prank on people when I was in school where I would take Take out my phone, pretend like I'm talking on the phone, get all mad, you know, and then chunk my phone. This is one of those little cool ones that has the little sliding keyboard. Pretty awesome, pretty retro. I would take my phone, it was similar to this, and I would chunk it, and then it would like fly up in the air, hit the concrete, smash around, and it would be fine. I did that so many times. Compare that to this phone, which I've had less than a year, just two days ago before filming this, I dropped this phone one time. It is completely destroyed. So, <laughs> yeah. Here is one more positive. You kind of stand out in a good way. These kind of phones are such a conversation starter. I can't tell you how many interesting and weird conversations started just over the fact that I would pull one of these out and start typing away on it or trying to read the little tiny messages. People would go, wow, I haven't seen one of those for ages. I was sitting in a barber shop one day and this guy is just sitting there waiting to get his hair cut and he looks over and he sees me texting on this thing. He says, man, it's been so long since I've seen one of those. My response was, yeah, I'm probably the only media person in the whole US that doesn't have a smartphone. And that conversation actually led to me getting a really cool job offer. I didn't end up accepting the job because instead I'd rather be doing something like this. So here's my conclusion if you want to know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Moderation is key. For those of y'all who don't know this about me, I'm a Christian. One of the things that not having a smartphone actually helped me to do was to be able to focus on the Lord more. And I've had to learn this past year what it means to set other things aside and to take time for things that are truly important. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will talk to y'all next time.